All my 37 parts are now uh, welded together and now I will take the camera down because it's hard to see uh, what's laying on my plywood table here. Uh, I'm about done with this thing. I, the last thing I, I need to do before to, to hit it with some paint is to sand everything down and remove some welding spots uh, and uh, other things and um, then I will be ready to give it some super primer and super gloss white paint and um, it has been uh, a very very easy project for me this time making uh, making this uh, this uh, flower pot tree because it's the it's the second time I'm I'm doing one of these uh, the first one I, I made for my wife in uh, for her mother's day's present um, and um, some uh, person in the other side of time, town where we live uh, asked me about I could do another one so um, that was because I could cut everything up and bend everything and knew exactly how many parts I, I needed uh, to, to make this one um, the hardest part was to get it look right just similar to, to the one uh, I made before because I have no drawings or, or, or something of it, but um, I could ran, ran out to the, to the driveway where, where the one we, we have is uh, hanging on the wall and measure it up and uh, it's, I would say, 95% uh, just like uh, the one I, I, I made before. And um, the final uh, 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 movie in this, this little series will be when I have sanded it down, primed it and painted white. I will hang it up and up, up on an, an old door I have sitting around here and uh, put some flower pots in it so you can see the finished product. Thank you for watching.